Here is the weighted pike stretch. You're gonna get yourself set up. I don't like this uh, top cushion. Okay, it's not sticky enough. Anyway, um, you're gonna get yourself set up on a uh, block like this. If doing this, as in extending your low back, is challenging to do on the floor. For me, if I go down here, I kind of want to live here. So elevating the hip a little bit <laughs> helps me to get a bit taller. This is going to be a passive stretch, but I want you to learn the position first, which is a pike. So can I pull myself up? Can I put my hands overhead, bicep by the ears? This position is even kind of challenging to hold for me. Okay, so this could be an active hold as well. But anyway, it's going to be a passive stretch. You're going to take some breaths in from this position and you're going to lean forward. And now you don't have to worry so much about your upper back being flat. You're thinking about pulling with, uh, you know, with your hip flexors and leading with your belly button as opposed to leading with your head or leading with your chest. So I'm still leading with the belly button, but I'm allowing the back to round in order to get deeper into the stretch. Okay, I can grab onto these. I can grab onto my shins. I can grab onto my knees. Take some deep breaths. Okay. Feel the stretch and then uh, feel it a little bit more as you load it. You can load this with a backpack. Um, you could load this with a plate like I'm doing. I just have it kind of on my head, kind of centered in my back. Ooh, I'm just taking some deep breaths. I can adjust it with my head like that. You figure these things out after you do it a few times. And I might alternate periods of contracting. So almost flexing my hip flexors, trying to pull myself deeper into stretch, maybe taking a tighter hold up on my feet or up on my ankles, and then breathing again into that position. Trying to get deep uh, as I can, but maintaining the breath under control um, through the weighted pike stretch.